Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. Please keep subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. I appreciate. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to and I'll check them out. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Fanny and Jesse, head there, say hi, we'll say hi back. Our vlogging channel, Fanny and Jesse 2.0, head there, subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. So today, I'm actually going to be reacting to Muslim relations with Jews and Christian, Christians, Sheikh Amid did that. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, in this ocean of Christianity, South Africa, where I come from, we are que asked numerous questions. Like, for example, they would like to know what is the relationship between Islam and the other religions. We say, and rightly so, that Islam is not a new religion. It is actually a continuation of the teachings of Moses, Hazrat Musa salam, and Jesus Hazrat Isa salam, brought to perfection. And in that, we say that Islam is Judaism made universal. We claim a unique relationship among the people of the book, the Jews and the Christians. With them, we claim a unique relationship. That Islam is Judaism made universal. Is the teaching of Moses Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made universal. The Jew says that God Almighty is absolutely unique. He has no partners. He has no sons. God is not seen at any time. No man can see God and live. And we give our hand of exceptions to the Jew that we believe as you believe. The Jew says no eating of the flesh of swine. We say we won't eat it. He says no eating of blood. We say we won't touch it. He says, no, sir, he says circumcision. We say we are circumcised. What more do you want? We would say. That Islam is Judaism made universal. And we also claim a unique relationship with the Christians. In this, that Islam is also a, the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith for its followers to believe in Jesus. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus. We say that we believe that Jesus was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe that he was the Messiah, the Masih, translated Christ. We say we believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention. A miracle of God. And we believe that he gave life to the dead by God's permission and he healed those born blind and the lepers by God's permission. The only real difference between us and the Jew is, we say, is political. With the Jew is political. The Muslim and the Jew are fighting for a piece of land. We say, my brother, the Arab, he says, Palestine belongs to him. The Jew says, Palestine belongs to him. Both my brothers and my cousins are fighting for a piece of land. It has something to do with politics. It has got nothing to do with race. It has got nothing to do with religion. I am speaking to my South African audience. This is how I present my case. With the Christian, we are the closest in what I have just mentioned now. His birth, his position, his status, his miracles. The only point of real difference is that we say he is not God Almighty in human form and he is not God incarnate and he is not the begotten son of God. These are the points of real difference. Otherwise, the Quran, the manner, the nobility in which it describes the birth of Jesus in the Holy Quran, Surah, in the Holy Quran, we read in Surah Ali Imran, chapter 3, verse 42. So behold, the angel said, O Mary, inna Allah has tafaki, wa taharaki, wa tafaki ala nisail alameen. That God Almighty has chosen thee and purified thee. Chosen thee above the women of all nations. Ya Maryam muknuti li rabbiki wasjudi warkai ma'arraqeen. So O Mary, worship thy Lord devoutly. Prostrate thyself and bow down in prayer with those who bow down. That this is part of the tidings of the things unseen which we reveal unto thee, O Apostle, by inspiration and so on. In these verses, when it is read to them, 
to the non-Muslim, especially the Christian and more especially the Roman Catholic. An amazing thing happens. When we read the Quranic Arabic, the Arabic of the Quran, the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and give its translation, the effect that it produces on the listener, we see their eyes well up with tears and they can't seem to believe their ears because they have been programmed from childhood into thinking, into believing that we Muslims are the Antichrist, that we are the enemies of Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. When we tell them that we believe in Jesus, we say that he was the Messiah, we believe in his miraculous birth, we believe in his many miracles. In my country, my people, the people who are ruling us, they are thinking that we are trying to curry favor with them, we are trying to be nice to them, that if we say a few good words about the Jesus, maybe they might say a few good words about our holy prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa which is not the case, which would be hypocrisy. We have to show them the Quran. And we make them to see and we read it to them and explain to them and they bite the fingers. Metaphorically, they bite the fingers and say, look, we were thinking that this was just the opposite. And if they read this and I told, show them, demonstrate to them that this birth of Jesus as narrated in the Holy Quran is a nobler and a sublimer version of his birth than anything to be found anywhere. Because when this good news was given to Mary, we read in the Holy Quran, she says, says Qadat Rabbi anna li waladun walam yamsasni bashar. She says, Oh my Lord, how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? Physically, sexually. In other words, she had no relationship with any man and how is she going to have a child? And the answers to that, as we find in the Holy Quran, said, Even so, Allah creates what he will. وَإِذَا قَدَىٰ أَمْرًا Whenever he decrees a matter, فَإِنَّمَا يَقُولُ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونَ Whenever he decrees a matter, if he wants to do anything, he merely wills it and the thing comes into being. We said this is the Muslim concept of the birth of Jesus. For God to create a Jesus without a human father, just like that. If he wants to create a million Jesuses without father and without mother, just like that. If he wants to create universes, millions and billions of them, just like that. وَإِذَا قَدَىٰ أَمْرًا Whenever he decrees a matter, فَإِنَّمَا يَكُولُ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُونَ He merely says to it, be and it is. Now, this we have not shared with our fellow countrymen in South Africa. It seems like a novel thing to them. And the rest of the world also, we have failed miserably in presenting the Quran to the unbeliever. In South Africa, we have started translating this book into Zulu, the language of the majority of the sons of the soil, the African. There are some 7 million Zulus in my part of the country, 7 million, the biggest number of people. They are like what the Quraysh were in Arabia. These people are among the African, the Zulus. So we have translated the Quran into Zulu, we have translated the Holy Quran into Afrikaans, which is the language of the ruling race. And this was all done by the help of the Islamic uh, courts and affairs of Doha, Qatar. They helped us, alhamdulillah, and their help has gone to such great extent that we have been able to do all these things. And I urge upon Muslims everywhere that they take up the Quran and read it to our brethren, our fellow countrymen, our visitors, our tourists, our uh, expatriates. Read it to them, make it available, available to them. Let them see the Quran for themselves. Because they have some mysterious ideas, mystic ideas about us. They don't know what is happening in the masjids. They don't know what we really stand for. They don't know what the Quran really says. And this volume that the, has been produced in your in your country here, has been most useful because this one is a unique translation that this man, Yusuf Ali, Abdullah Yusuf Ali, Allama Yusuf Ali, uh, some 50 years ago he did this job and he has been able to arrange for us such fantastic system that you read the, the verse of the Quran and you have the translation side by side so you can also, the Arab can also improve his English and a very comprehensive index at the back of the Quran and this index puts everything on your fingertips. Anything you want to you know about Jesus, open J and under Jesus you'll find a dozen different references. You want to know about Moses, under M you'll find Moses. You want to know about marriage, about divorce, everything on your fingertips. You can refer to it in two ticks. May Allah you know, make it possible for you to have access to this book of God and use it 
for the propagation of Islam. Wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. If you want to teach someone in life, you have to um, teach them in a language they understand. That's the first thing. Um, the Quran being translated into Afrikaans or Zulu is actually a good thing so that people that speak that language can understand it, you know. And, and I'm sure they get to learn so much than hear say something they're just hearing and they can't even defend it because they don't know what the quran is all about giving access to people like this is actually a good thing you can't recite the quran in arabic to someone who's never heard the quran to someone who doesn't know what you're speaking about to someone who doesn't speak the same language to you because it's going to mean nothing at all so this was a great move and i just love how amit didat was explaining this issue concerning the relation of the jews and the christians to islam and um i actually haven't heard anyone explain it like this the fact the fact that he's saying islam is not a new religion first time i'm hearing that he knows that they have some foundation in the Jewish um, Judaism, they have some foundation in Christianity and from that they've created something universal, like he said, you know, which is amazing to hear. Many people need to hear this because they're going to miss out on something that can be beneficial to them. If everyone explained um, Islam, the, re the religion of Islam like this, trust me, many crowds will be put to see how this that is claimed to be universal has a foundation in these other two and many people i feel like many people should get this and put it into practice to show others the non-muslims that this is actually not a new religion it's just this and this just try to explain it like Ami did that trust me you have many many people trying to figure out or learn about Islam. Let me know what you guys actually think about what he said both about the Jews and the Christians and how he related them. And um, there's more to what he said, but of course this was a short clip. If there's anything you would love to discuss, just comment down below. Your comments never goes um, unnoticed. We'll see them. Please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. Give me the link. And the name and I'll check it out. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with the friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.